Hello everyone, Mark here. Hope you're all doing well. Now I thought I'd just do another quick update on my Armour Granite 4x4 Free Cell BLX. As some of you know, I bought this not so long ago, just over a week ago, and right out the box I had a 40 electric speed controller, and I thought I was gonna have to go down the warranty route and basically get my model fixed. Uh, I took it back to the model shop, explained my situation to one of the workers that was there. Um, he did actually say he'd want to send my truck off to Horizon Hobby to get it fixed um, and then I'd get the truck back. But I politely declined and asked to um, speak to the manager because personally I wanted them to change the electric speed controller right there and then. The manager come over, I explained the situation, I explained the faults I was having with the electric speed controller and for those people who don't know, I'm gonna leave a link in the top right hand corner so you can go check that out. Basically, I was having power issues, my fan stopped working, the electric speed controller just wasn't behaving like it should. I explained that to the manager and he agreed to replace the electric speed controller right there right then so i was very happy and they were happy that i was happy so it was a win-win for everybody so i took the uh, truck home the exact same day and hopefully everything is all working i did plug a battery in just to test the power test the fan everything seemed to be working okay so now next time when i take this out everything should be functioning perfectly how it should i'm sure that will be the case guys because like i say it wasn't a, a faulty electric speed controller another thing that i'm going to be doing as well is i'm going to change all of my batteries i'm going to put um ec5 connectors on all of my batteries and get rid of Dean's connectors because this comes with an IC5. IC5 connectors are really good, but they're actually really expensive. Now, if I was going to change all of my vehicles, my one tenth and one eighth scale vehicles to IC5, that would actually cost quite a lot of money as well as my battery. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change to um, EC5 because they are compatible with IC5 connectors, as you can see. and they're a lot cheaper, literally half the price. And I, uh, EC5 have got a higher amp rateage than Dean's connectors. So when you use um, converter adapters like this, some people say you can actually run into voltage issues because it kind of confuses your electrics. I'm not too sure about that, but at the end of the day, EC5 um, are just much easier to work with anyway than Dean's in my opinion. So I'm gonna be changing everything over and I'm going to be using EC5. Now hopefully within the next few days I will take this truck out, take it for a nice spin and obviously test everything is working properly. But before I do that I need to finish one of my other projects. Now some of you might know I'm doing a nitro to brushless conversion and I've basically got all of the parts now to finish this project. So I'm gonna be doing that over the next few days and then I'm gonna do a few videos on this showing you exactly how I've done it and what it's like once it's complete. So I need to start knocking some projects off of my list because they're starting to grow too much. So I'm gonna do that before taking this beast back out for a run. I've also got a few upgrades coming for this already. Nothing major, because I like to run things stock, but I've got some uh, shock socks coming. I've also got a nice motor fan um, and protector coming as well. I personally think having a fan on this motor is a must, especially when you're running big, powerful batteries like this sports track overlander um this is a free cell 65c 5300 mah more than capable for this vehicle uh, so i should get good power good run time um the longer the run time though guys it's going to heat up my engine more heat up my motor more so i'm going to need that fan on there to cool everything out down to keep everything running sweet so that's it guys i just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on and luckily it was good news today so i'm very happy so 
as always guys thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it uh give me a thumbs up if you want to hit that bell notification as well guys if you're subscribed please hit that bell notification button so it helps me and it'll help you keep up to date on all my upcoming videos and if you're not subscribed if you like what you see please do hit that subscribe button i've got loads of videos in my collection and loads more coming as well got some nice upgrades coming on this as well as many other vehicles guys so as always thank you so much for watching and more importantly happy rcm take care bye bye